Okay, this is Chantilly Lace, and this is my first tutorial in a series of tutorials on editing clothes for the website Miss Bimbo using um, the Paint.net program. Um, for this first video, we'll go over the different tools and things that I use in Paint.net. So this is your screen. I've opened up um, a new image of one of the bimbo bases. Okay, first off, um, let's talk about the tools in this region. This is the add a new layer button. So we'll go ahead and add a new layer because you don't want to draw directly on your bimbo. This is the delete layer button, the duplicate layer, which just makes an identical layer to the layer you've just created. The merge down layer, which will merge a layer down to the layer below it. And this is the move layer up, move layer down. And this is the properties, which if you open it, you can rename it and you can change the blending mode and the opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and name the new layer and we'll call it the dress base. And then click OK. Um, here are your tools. This is the rectangle select tool. You use it to select things in a in a box area. Um, your move tool, your magic wand, your paint bucket fill, your gradient, your paintbrush, your eraser, pencil, color picker your line and curve tool, and then the rectangle, the rounded rectangle, the ellipse, and the freeform shape, or you can use to draw shapes if you need it. Things like maybe buttons and stuff like that. Um, and then up here you've got, this shows you which tool you're currently using, what your brush width is, and the tolerance. And here is where you magnify or demagnify your um, image. Um, I always set my tolerance at 47 when I start and you're always going to use a brush size of one when you're creating your outline using the line tool. So then you're going to come over here to your color box. If you click more you'll see a lot more options and you can pick the different colors. Um, I guess we'll just do a blue dress, it doesn't really matter. Um, this button you can click to add the color you're currently working with to your color palette, which is handy. That way you can go back and forth between colors if you need to. And then here's where you can change the transparency of it, the color you're using, or the shade, make it lighter, make it darker. You know, you can just play with these buttons for that. Anyway, for this one, for this tutorial, we're just going to make a really simple dress. So you're going to start out with your line tool and you just start drawing your dress. Um, I forgot, We're, here's your fill and this is what you're, whatever you're working with, this is the pattern, the fill pattern. And when you're starting out with something you don't want to use a pattern, you just want to use a solid color. So go up and select solid color and then you just grab these little boxes and shape your lines any way you want to shape them. And you just want to, you know, have in mind what kind of dress you're making or, you know, obviously it doesn't have to be a dress, whatever you're making. And you're just going to create the shape. I want the top of her dress to be sort of um, tight to her body. So we're going to put the lines right in next to it. Obviously if you didn't want it to be tight they wouldn't fit her form quite so well. And then for the skirt, let's make a shape here. Um, 
Normally, if you wanted her hand to look like it was in front of her dress, you would draw around the hand, but that's kind of time consuming. And I want to try and make this a quick tutorial. And obviously my shape isn't all that great, but for what we're doing, it's good enough. I guess we could drag it up here to the top of her hip. Make it a little bit more. Okay. And then you're just going to come down here and you're going to create the shape of your folds. Um, I think creating shapes for folds is kind of hard to learn. So my suggestion would be to... Um, Number one, you can study um, different pictures. You can search for tutorials. Um, they don't have to be, you know, bimbo tutorials. There's a lot of tutorials out there on how to draw clothes. Um, you can study the clothing on um, Miss Bimbo. That's a really good way. Or even just study um, other editors' work or pictures, like real life pictures of the kind of thing that you're trying to draw. Um, this isn't my best outline, but it's good enough for this. So you're going to create a new layer, select your paint bucket, and fill that new layer with the color. Then you're going to go back down and select the dress base layer, pick your magic wand, and click outside the outline you just created. Now you can see that it has selected everything outside of the outline that we just made of our dress. And you're going to go back up to the new layer that you filled, click Edit and Cut, or Control X, which is how I do it. And you can see that it filled in our layer perfectly. There's no gaps on the sides or anything, whereas if you try to just fill it in, it'll do that. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and merge it down onto our outline. And then we'll add a new layer and now we are going to make the creases of her skirt. Um, I This is how I do it. I know a lot of people do it differently, but this is just my way. Um, I pick the blackest black and a line tool, brush with the one, solid color, and then I just come in and create my crease lines. Um, and then we'll add the shading and the highlighting to the creases when I'm done. Um, this isn't going to be one of my better edits because I'm trying to do this quickly, but you'll sort of get the idea of what I do. And then if you want to take more time, you can look through my picture tutorial to get a better idea. and we'll call this layer dress creases. It's really easier if you name your layers because you'll know you do a lot of switching back and forth between layers and you'll know a little bit better what you're working with if you name them. So this one we'll name crease shading. And I'm going to stop right here and then we will do the second tutorial after this.